So we, we had an anniversary of 40 years uh, with uh, Roof and Porsche. And uh, for this event, a very good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Richard Soderberg, a very famous car designer, uh, made this rendering. And that was based on a frame that was one of my early uh, eight millimeter movies. Because in the 60s, we, we hardly took any photographs. Everything was filmed. We were making eight millimeter films. So all the old stuff is basically coming from those films. And it shows me as a 13 year old, and I was driving the first Porsche that we had, which was this notchback or Carmen hardtop. And uh, we were, I was driving it in the winter, as you see, it was snow driving. I didn't have a driver license. I had to drive it on the uh, area of, the, of our yard within the premises of the company, you know. <laughs> so, here we are working on uh, earlier cars. We're working on air-cooled, on water-cooled, whatever it takes, it's done here. These are, most of these jobs here are big conversions and restorations. I'll give you an example. The yellow one here is a CTR2 Sport from the 1990s. This car lived its life in Japan and uh, it came here for a full restoration. And the car will leave the company again like brand new and uh, will go to the new owner. The car next to it <coughs> is a 993 based roof turbo BTR that is just recovering from a big collision repair. It had a frontal crash and it was completely rebuilt here and is leaving the company again as a, like a new car. The white one here is a roof CTR that was originally delivered in 1989. And it's uh, interesting enough, it's chassis number 007. And uh, this original owner of the car, he wanted to have everything with a seven. That was his lucky number. When, when he came to the hotel, we had to find him a room number with seven. He would come at seven o'clock and he would leave at seven o'clock. Everything was around seven. So it has a speedometer for 370 kilometers. What we did not have at that time was a seven speed gearbox, but everything had to be seven engine number, uh, gearbox number, anything, chassis number, this is why, this is our 007. <laughs> now it's back for the restoration. Uh, this, this here is a 550 Tribute car, and uh, we are putting in a, a very, very strong drivetrain with a six-cylinder engine with around 400 horsepower. This is what the customer wants, so we... Uh, we don't stop him from playing, we play with him. <laughs> okay. We are engines. This is the world of engines. When you look at our guys, Armin here is uh, just cleaning up for the next engine to be put on the bench. These are some specialty engines. This is not what uh, a roof car has today, but this is a special engine that we're building for a customer that uh, he wanted to have this way. It's a 2.5 liter uh, with 46 um, Weber carburetors, a very hot rod thoroughbred engine uh, for a, a race car, a fun race car, let's call it, from the 60s, for a 60s car. But it's really beautiful in every detail. As you can look, this is something that some of our customers put in their living room to look at <laughs> and enjoy it. <laughs> Over here, this is a, a restoration of a complete, complete 911S from 1971, a 2.2S. And uh, this is the engine, and the engine is being brought back to original specifications. And uh, this is the next one to be completed here. So this is uh, another engine here on the dyno, uh, obviously water-cooled. 
and uh, here we're running the water-cooled engines, the ones that are going in the range of close to 1,000 horsepower, whilst our other dyno is more predestined for the um, air-cooled engines. And it is good up to 600 horsepower. Right now there's no engine mounted, but we call this dyno here, this is our dinosaur, you know, this is <laughs> not the latest technology, but very reliable te technology of, of German quality. It's a Schenk dyno. This car is about 10 years old. It is a RT12, and it has been shipped to us to be freshened up. New paint job, new interior. So the customer enjoys collecting roof cars. He has now already four, and uh, he's happy to receive the car back to drive it in Miami. This is something that may be of interest also. This is a mock-up that has been milled out with a milling machine. You see it's just one section from the A pillar to the B and C pillar. And we needed that to make this uh, special frame here fit for our CTR, the new one which has a secret air intake here for the combustion air. And to make sure that everything fits properly, we were making this, uh, this mock-up here and um, the door shows here very well how much the door in our new car has grown and has become uh, with a stronger shoulder. And because this is a standard door from a 911 and you see we are about 35 millimeters farther out. This is a very good demonstrator. I have to shoot this way. Are oh, you shooting? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay. See, to understand this. Okay, yeah. Now uh, we go to the paint shop. This. So the guys are preparing for paint here. Okay.